In my previous tutorial, you learned how to use Mugen sprites for your Streets of Rage 2 ROM hack. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use sprite sheets for your ROM hack of the same game. First, search the internet for a sprite sheet of the character you have chosen for your Streets of Rage hack. There are websites specifically designed to host sprite sheets, such as www.spritersresource.com and www.spritedatabase.net. Additionally, you can find sprite sheets on other platforms, including DeviantArt and Pinterest. I will look for a sprite sheet of Klonoa, a character from Namco, the same company that created Pac-Man. Second, after you have downloaded the sprite sheet of your choice, let's proceed to edit it. If the sprite sheet you downloaded has a colored background, find an application or website to remove it. In my case, I will use paint.net to eliminate the background. Next, let's adjust the color scheme of the sprites to align with the default Streets of Rage color palette. However, you are free to modify the game's color palette if you prefer. I recommend choosing one of these options, otherwise, the sprites may encounter potential color scheme glitches when imported into the game's ROM. For my project, I will use the application Pixel Palette tool. Third, let's separate the sprites from the sprite sheet. Use an application or website to complete this step. In my case, I will use the website yoji.github.io slash sprite sheet cutter slash. Finally, you can now utilize the sprites of the character you chose in your Streets of Rage hack. The idea of a cheerful little dream traveler in a beat em up game set in urban environments plagued by crime and violence may seem absurd, particularly to those familiar with the Klonoa franchise. However, I am presenting this concept solely for demonstration purposes. This tutorial concludes here. I hope I have been able to assist you.